Friends, hello. The church is supposed to gather together to do wonderful things, to feed the hungry, give uh, clothes for the naked, house the homeless. All these things are good things. And it's fantastic to see churches coming together to do uh, some wonderful things. We've been partnering with St. Jude's uh, with their food food drives and their and their food giveaways and they're they're really making a difference in sustaining people through a really difficult time that's what the church does but it's fantastic to think that while the holy spirit equips the church to be this dwelling place for god we also as individuals have uh, gifts that Jesus gives us in remarkable and wonderful ways. So let me read this to you. This is Ephesians chapter 4, 7 through 12. But each one of us, to each one of us, grace has been given as Christ apportioned it. This is why it says, when he ascended on high, he took many captives and gave gifts to his people. What does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions? He who descended is the very one who ascended higher than all the heavens in order to fill the whole universe. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, and the teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up. There's a lot in here. Paul is quoting a psalm, Psalm 68, which, of course, you need to, you need to know, as in many quotes, it is the uh, connotation that matters a great deal. The Psalm 68 is, is a psalm, uh, in, in, this, in this Bible it says, God shall scatter his enemies. It, it's a song of God's victory. It's a song of people um, crying out to God and saying, God, come and vindicate your people. Save us, rescue us like you did of old. And it's, it's an exciting uh, militaristic psalm, of course, but it's asking for God's blessing. It's asking for God to come and, and conquer. And, of course, the, the portion that Paul is, brings up specifically is this scene where God has conquered. And when the conquering king comes he takes the spoils of war and he gives them to his his people the people who his his followers his army his his vassals that's the the sort of scene that paul is depicting and of course in verse 9 he says what does he ascended mean except that he also descended to the lower earthly regions so he's really saying jesus is the one who is victorious over all these things and have given gifts to his people. And, and this is a remarkable thing because it is Jesus who gives us, individuals, gifts in order to, well, very specifically, in order to build up the body of Christ. And that, that means not only to encourage the body of Christ, to encourage them to service and good works, so that's the people, the church, uh, that's us Christians together encouraging each other to go out and get busy, do something good. But it's also to build up the body of Christ in that to draw people into a salvation, to draw people into a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And so the question here is one, what is the gift that Jesus has given you? What is the thing? with the things that you can do to build up the body of Christ in these perplexing circumstances or even beyond. Well, how has Christ gifted you to build up the body of Christ? But I want to say the last thing, though, is what is Jesus? What is Jesus defeated I want to say Jesus has defeated fear. Jesus has defeated COVID-19. Jesus has defeated death. And not to say we don't have to take any of this seriously. Yes, we do. But it's to know that we, we are in good hands when we 
exercise the gifts that Jesus has given us to build up the body of Christ. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing. We're following orders, and it is good and hopeful to be working in those lines. Let me read to you the next verse. So Paul quotes uh, Psalm 68, verse 18. Let me read to you uh, 19 and 20. Blessed be the Lord who daily bears us up. God is our salvation. Our God is a God of salvation, and to God the Lord belong deliverances from death. So friends, I hope this is a hopeful word for you. And remember, the kingdom is here, the kingdom's coming, and the king reigns.